When you go to the beach, you'll see waves lapping or crashing on the shore. Some will be constructive, whilst others will be destructive. But what's the difference? A constructive wave is a flat and low wave with a long wavelength and low frequency. Their swash is stronger than their backwash. Constructive waves, as the name suggests, deposit and therefore construct the beach, making it larger and wider. Constructive waves are low, surging waves that spill onto the beach with a powerful swash, pushing material up onto the beach. They're formed by storms that may be hundreds of kilometers from the beach where they break. The crests of the waves are far apart, breaking six to nine times per minute. The backwash is more gentle, and they're usually found on gently sloping beaches. Let's look at some more constructive waves. A destructive wave has a steeper shape and hits the shore with a high frequency. Their backwash is stronger than their swash. Destructive waves are formed when storms are close to the coast. They have frequent and closely spaced waves, breaking between 10 and 14 times per minute. They are high and steeply plunging as they reach the beach. Due to their steep plunge, they don't produce a great deal of forward energy in the swash but they have a powerful backwash that will drag material back towards the sea, creating steeper beaches. Let's look at some more destructive waves. So, there you have it. The difference between constructive and destructive waves. I'll see you on the next What's the Difference. Bye for now.